never underestimate living like living your own life being you know yeah. a, an out gay man in and of itself is showing pride or you well, could do yeah or you could do something sort of like where yeah. you're a little well i think groomed. if you're not going to pride because you feel ashamed and you deep down really want to go i think that's sad and that like however you can push through that and get through that shame and go to pride try and do that mm. but if you are sat there and you're like i don't want to go to pride and i don't care that i've never been or i don't I like you genuinely don't want to go and that's absolutely fine absolutely you don't fine. need to feel any sort of guilt yeah. for not wanting to take there's part no, there's no right or wrong way to be no. a gay there's no right or wrong way to be political there's no right or wrong way to be mm. a role model there's no right or like there's not this is just us talking about mm -hmm. pride our experiences you know like i went to i remember going to new york and mm -hmm. and seeing all those people and you know it was it was nice to be i was stood near uh julius's and, and near the yeah. stonewall lane and you know seeing all that it, it's it's really emotional to to think how i how isolating it can feel mm. and then growing up with with yeah. that you know i've loved pra prides at manchester i've always felt mm -hmm. really well i remember the first pride that i went to at manchester i remember going with my friends and they took me into a, a bar an amazing bar called new york new york if you're ever in uh, in Manchester and the music that was on it was like someone had plugged my Spotify yeah. in <laughs> I was like it's all my tunes yeah. Yeah. Um, this is weird I, <laughs> but I felt I felt at home and I thought these these are my yeah, people definitely um, and it's there's something very heartwarming and, mm. and liberating about that and I'd also say if you don't want to go to a massive pride like a London Manchester or New York or wherever you're from there are there tend to be lots of different prides in little towns and things. We went to one in Milton Keynes because Keegan was doing a talk at Milton Keynes Pride. Milton Keynes is a very small city in the UK. They'd booked out this area. They got a Their few big was, tops. It was really good. It was they very had stands. Fam very family. Yeah, very family friendly. They had stands, food, street food, rides, fairground rides. It was just, it was a real, it was a much smaller event, all contained to this one little area on this field. But it was a family friendly event and it was so much fun. So if you feel a bit uh, sort of daunted by going to a, one of the biggest pride celebrations, just look in your local area. The chances mm. are smaller towns where you're from yeah. will have a pride and yeah, it yeah. might feel a lot more, I don't know, a lot less intimidating, basically. Mm. How could you celebrate pride without going to a pride event? Well, I think like you said, one of the subtle, maybe superficial ways is to wear some clothing that you feel is subtly yeah. pridey, like my shoes here, if you're watching on YouTube. Uh, if you're not, I'll describe them. They're black velvet Adidas trainers with embroidered like doodles on them in multicolors. And Keegan bought these for me to, I think it was just for my first pride, wasn't it? Yeah. It wasn't even a birthday or anything. Yeah. Um, and happy, I absolutely love them. A gay Christmas. Um, and I absolutely love them. And I, I don't really have, I don't have any clothes that are like slathered in rainbows and glitter and things. It's not really my style. Mm. Um, however, I do like things with a subtle hint, like your Adidas top. Keegan's got, if you're listening, instead of the three white stripes down the sleeves, they're sort of tie dye ish bright colours. Mm. It's basically the pride. And my train. Pride. I mean, th these are all. These are all. So I like. I personally like Adidas. Yeah. Um, this is not an, an ad or anything. <laughs> I bought these because. Uh, Adidas came out a, a good few years ago. Not came out like that. They came out. Adidas is gay, guys. <laughs> Adi gay. Uh, they came out and said that if any of their sponsored athletes were to come out, mm. then they would support them and they wouldn't pull the funding, which I mean, legally they're obliged to do. But they mm. actually came out and said it and they didn't have yeah. to. Um, so I like it. I like Adidas. So I got these trainers a few years ago. They've got like a paint and splash on on these. And yeah. so you could do it like that mm -hmm. if you. But as I said before, you you don't have to. You don't have to do anything. You can celebrate yeah. pride by, I don't know, you just just by being by being you is yeah. an act of, you know, pride. So yeah. maybe watch a, a documentary or watch something about the history of the gay community. Yeah. Like I know I really want to do that because I know a decent amount about the gay history, but I don't know 
like there's people that know way more mm. and like i i want to wise up on on all these different things you could go back and watch some um gay movies or gay tv yeah. you know you could there's angels in america there's milk there's queer as mm. folk there's the english version there's the american version yeah there's there's films that you could watch like um god's country or um mm. i said milk didn't i mm. um Call me by your name. There's all yeah. this stuff that you can watch. That well, yeah, you could make a list. This is quite fun for the month of June. You could make a list of. I don't know how many days are in June. Thirty. Let's say thirty. You could make a list of. What the, are you doing? Thirty. 30, 30 what? Uh, January, February, March, April, May, June. Thirty. Yeah. Thirty. Okay. So you could make a list of thirty things. You could get really organised. Uh, thirty pieces of media or content to consume, whether they're musicals or films gay films and things that are like very important to the gay community or whether they're articles and things yeah. so you could every day try and tick off one yeah. of these things that's, that's quite fun last question then okay. this is a good question what's your favorite part about pride my favorite part about pride i think it is the parade and slash the community i think even if so i we didn't see the parade at manchester because uh, we didn't arrive in time. We did in London. Yeah. Um, and I think even though we'd missed the parade, walking through Manchester and just the camaraderie between everyone, that we were all there for the same reason, the same purpose. And also we felt like incredibly, well, I felt incredibly safe there where I was like, I can literally be just myself. I can almost just exhale and go, oh, I don't have to mm. carry with me this sense that I do. I think most of my life, which is like, Am I okay here? Am I safe here? If people knew about my sexuality, is that okay? Like, I I can drop that for the next few hours. 